All right, I'm in Roku OS 11.5. If you wanna go ahead and set up your Bluetooth wireless headphone with your Roku, let's go ahead and go down to remotes and devices. Here we'll find wireless headphones. Add new wireless headphones. Let's go ahead and start searching. Of course, at this point, we're gonna get our headphone and turn it on, of course. And in doing so, let's see, make sure the headphones are connected, but so it's on right now, but it needs to actually be searching. So let's hold down the on button. And there you go. Should be searching for it right now. Yep, found the Surface headphones. And let me grab the regular remote and click on OK. And I'm done. So we've now paired the headphones. You can see that they're set to level 66. Um, I'm gonna put the headphones on my head itself. So give me one second. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so I'm adjusting the dial. As you can see, pretty legit. Goes all the way up to 100. I assume that's gonna be very loud. Let me figure this out with the regular Roku remote. We should be able to just go in, find some live TV programming. Let's watch some Fail Army as we wait for that to load. Hopefully it won't be too loud. I hear it. It's magic, just like that. I think it's coming out of both speakers. Yeah, it's coming out of both. I hear them loud and proud. You can also, of course, go up and down with the volume right here on the side of the remote. If you need to mute it, you can mute it there too, but it works. Now, in order to get rid of this, let's figure that out too. I'm assuming the easiest way to turn this off is to just turn off my headphones. All right, looks like, yep, it went back to the regular speakers. When I turn my headphones back on, let's see if it connects automatically or if I now have to do it again. If I go back to settings, oh, looks like it did connect. That is my headphone itself. So cool. At any point in time, if we wanted to just disconnect it, we go back to our wireless headphones and you can see uh, auto detect is on. We can turn it off or we can go ahead and actually disconnect or forget these headphones entirely. So it's an easy way to connect and listen to your headphones as opposed to using the Roku mobile app was the old way of having to do all of this, but now you can finally do it on device. I'm using the uh, Roku sound, the smart sound bar. I assume that this is compatible with other Roku devices like the Roku TVs, um, but you know, check your actual device to make sure that it's compatible on their website. Thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully it was informative. If you liked it, smack the like button as well as subscribe to this channel for more videos coming soon.